been yeah, very um, close supporter of us and uh, um, and Eddie Max over the last probably three or four three or four years. More than that, more than that. Yeah, yeah. Fifty years. <laughs> no. um, and one of the interesting things, I mean, it's we've got so many brands obviously in this space, and in the early days we were very quick onto ubiquity, and I can probably say in this environment, um, ubiquity. For our trade guys and for us, for that matter, it's, it's increasingly difficult to offer the service proposition that we might offer our customers. And, um, and Eddie Max, not only um, are we able to offer margin um, to in turn offer service, but we've also got a contact um, that will support us all the way through projects. So I've, I've spoken to Norman in the past, um, jobs like schools, for example, the Wi Fi calling is one of the questions. We asked about schools, and uh, and you've got someone with really great network knowledge that will support us, as opposed to other systems where perhaps you have to go onto a forum and hope that the guy on the other end of the uh, line knows what he's talking about. Um, so yeah, and also one of the interesting things, just seeing in Taiwan the networking, the strength of networking companies over there. So. Um, bear in mind, Eddie Max is sort of one of the great Taiwanese um, companies. Um, so yeah, you can have a lot of confidence in their product. Thank you. The Thank you, Mike. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is my pleasure to come to present you Eddie Max Solutions again. Okay, let me stop. Okay. Today, um, <coughs> Today I'm going to talk to you about the uh, Office One Two Three. Com different uh, compared with last year, we have only have three in one pack, but this year we have a single pack and also two in one pack. Okay, and also today I'm going to start from the smart home first, and I'm going to talk about the what's the smart home market, and then what's Office One Two Three, what ADMS can do for the smart home. Okay. See, this is why, uh, why I mentioned today. See, uh, we previous year, we only had three one pack for big projects. And then currently we released two in one pack, one master, one slave. And also single pack, which is master solutions. We also have the client device, outdoor client devices. You can add to the network uh, easily. Okay. So I'm going to start from the the current issue of Wi-Fi smart home. Okay, everyone talking about Wi-Fi smart home this year. So, some people talking about Wi-Fi smart home. Okay, we know there's a, a lot of uh, alliance components uh, alliance within this segment smart home. We have a uh, Z-Wave, we have uh, ZB, we have a uh, Bluetooth. We also have got Wi-Fi. Okay. All of them, they, come, they also come with their advantage, and they also come with their group people to support them, and uh, they also have the, their ecosystems, okay? So people still not sure we are going to use. We are going to use, whether I'm going to install Z-Wave, ZB, or Bluetooth, even Wi-Fi to my house. People still not sure. So a lot of debate currently. So in the, I will see in the three years time, people will really know which one they will use. Okay, <clears throat> today I won't be, oh, I won't be talking about too much about Z-Wave, ZB, or Bluetooth. I focus on the Wi-Fi, okay, because this is related to my topic. And also I'm going to tell you the advantage uh, of using the Wi-Fi to build out your smart home. Also I will tell you the disadvantage of the Wi-Fi and how to solve the issues. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, if you want to use Wi-Fi to build out your smart home, it's more affordable compared with Z-Wave for ZB. This is the price survey from the Amazon US. If you want to buy the smart plug from Z-Wave, costs you 50 US dollars. If you want to buy ZB uh, smart plug, costs you 32 dollars US dollars. But if you want to buy the Wi-Fi smart plug, from from TBD, only $18. So Wi-Fi solution compared with other uh, smart, home smart home solutions is always affordable. <coughs> okay, second thing. 
Um, if you're using Wi-Fi to build out your uh, smart home, there's no hub. There's no controllers. ZBE, Z-Wave, or Bluetooth, they need controllers. When you use the controllers, it's always about compatibility. Why? Because there are so many client devices. If you do, they are not compatible, they, even though they are using the same protocol, like Z-Wave, ZB, it won't work. They might get a ping, but they won't be a, able to trigger any, any actions. So once you want to use ZB, Z-Way or Bluetooth, you need to make sure whether my client device is compatible with the certain brand, compatible, like, a, like a z wave they got the Fibaros, Vera, and currently also you, could, you also see Ring, also suppose Z-Wave. But again, not those accessories work to each other. You need to make sure whether your controllers support those devices. ZB is even worse, okay? <laughs> Everyone is uh, like Amazon got ZBs, IKEA use EBs, Xiaomi use ZB. A lot of people use a lot of vendor uh, manufacturer use ZB, but all their client devices are not able to work together. Okay, so when you use those things, when there's a controllers, it's always about compatibility. For Wi-Fi, no issue. Okay. Wi-Fi smart home also come with better and more appliance when we're talking about ecosystems. Refrigerators, air conditioning, they are all Wi-Fi, not ZB, not Z-Wave. Okay, like uh, the, the, the floor cleaner, like uh, iRobot, they are all Wi-Fi. And uh, many others, like uh, some stuff, light board, Smart plug, and door lock. A lot of uh, appliances, they come from Wi-Fi, not Z-Wave, ZB. Although some of them they are overlapping, some of them they have, some of them they don't. But you will, find, you will see more smart home devices that actually are using Wi-Fi. Okay. And also currently, like uh, you might know about Brilliant in Australia, and uh, they they released their smart home port online. Everything is support Alexa, Google Assist, IFTTT, and then they said no hub. So people are coming and jumping, and more and more players to sell their smart home devices using their devices of, of Wi-Fi, okay? So this is uh, brilliant. They, they have lighting segments, security segment, garden segment, electrical segment. They are all Wi-Fi solution. No ZBZ, no Z-Wave. So that is advantage of um, Wi-Fi. If you're talking about you want to build out a smart home, okay, by using the Wi-Fi, okay, this is advantage. We have big but here, but there's the two critical issues to stop people using smart home Wi-Fi. Why? First questions, okay? Simple. How many Wi-Fi clients your Wi-Fi can support? How many? For example, you, at your house, you, you got a, a Wi-Fi router from the ISP. How many clients that Wi-Fi router can support? Normally, it's up to only eight, 16. Okay? See, you got a Wi-Fi, uh, you got iPhone, notebook, smart TV, iPad, everything, and then occupy those capacity, plus you do not use those uh, Wi-Fi smart home devices. Your, your, your internet traffic will be... You are done. Your disaster. <laughs> you are done. You can't do anything because you are using the, the entry-level Wi-Fi routers from the ISP. You can't do anything. This is uh, something which is uh, people, people stop to use you know, Wi-Fi a smart home. The second thing, second issues will be, you'll be coming across very soon, okay? For example, you want to build out a, a complete home automation solutions. You got five sensors, five uh, PIR sensors, window sensors, plus each room you, got, you need to get light bulb and each room you need to get a smart home plug. Easily, 
your devices will be up to 30 or more than 30. OK? So imagine you are installers. You go to the house. And uh, you want to set up those 30 Wi-Fi devices. How are you going to do? <laughs> Just go to each of them, SSID password, SSID password, SSID password, 30 times, or even more. Imagine how, how many hours you're going to spend on the SSID passwords. That's another critical issue to stop people to use us. Uh, Wi-Fi, smart home Wi-Fi solutions, OK? For Z-Wave, Z-Bit, no issues. They just cover the, the whole network. For, for Z-Bit, Z-Wave, 50 above client devices, no issues. If you change your password, they will set up everything straight away from the co controllers, OK? So that's, that's the reason people stopped using a smart home of Wi-Fi, OK? We got solutions, OK? So Office 123, ADMS Office 123 might be able to solve both, OK? But how? I'm going to show you. So Office 123 is a perfect solution for the smart home, especially for Wi-Fi solutions, OK? <clears throat> because we support 256 Office worker accounts. We support 520. 12 guest account of ATMS Office 123. And also, we support 128 client devices. It's so all the, so those Wi Fi devices. Okay? Plus, because we are using 11AC Wave 2 and UMIMO solutions, this is a better Wi Fi performance. They come with uh, airtime fairness and band steering, okay? which means they can service uh, those client devices up to four simultaneously. OK, I'm going to tell you more about those features. And uh, all, the, all, all the Office 123 come with three SSID. Guest network, Office network, and also device network. Guest network is uh, si simple, just for everyone to use. Username, password, and uh, you can hook on internet. And the Office use is for the of Office user. Individual users, they got their own username and password, OK? And that we call CAPT portals, uh, increase the securities. This one is the one I'm talking about, device network. OK, device network comes with two authentications. OK, the first authentication, just, just, no, just like a previous, uh, SSID and password. But also, they come with the um, MAC address filters. We call the, normally people call, normally people call ACL, SS control list. OK, so what you need to do is upload those client devices MAC address. OK, so how this one can solve the issue of the, the second one? For example, you just prepare a list of all the MAC address, upload to the device network. OK, you can decide whether you leave password open or not open. If not open, straight away, even in future, so you change the username and password, you don't need to change it because this second set authentication of the access control list can stop user or use or recognize the user whether they can use the internet. Okay, so this is our solution. Okay, so again, we are able to support 128 devices and uh, users. Also, we have device network to help installers or you to build out your smart home network. This is a solution. Of course, in the future, you will see even more and more solutions. This is our solutions. OK? So through these, you will be able to solve those two issues of Wi-Fi smart network. OK? OK, as I said, <coughs> all the ADMAX uh, uh, Office 123, they come with three SSID. They work together. They are unified network. Self-manage, all of them they come with three SSID: guest network, office network, and device network. Okay. And uh, this is uh, the, uh, the just brief about the uh, office one two three. This is uh, office network, guest network, device network for the all the devices, Wi-Fi devices, including your uh, Wi-Fi printers, Wi-Fi scanner, 
all the Wi-Fi. You can upload the, the, the MAC address to here. They will become your authentication. And also there are the graf graf graphic, uh, user, user graphic user interface. You also got the map. You can allocate each devices. And uh, Office 123 is uh, self-managed, which means if you want to upgrade the firmware, go to master. If you want to do the adjustment, go to master. They will deploy to all other access points. OK. This is a traditional way to have a managed Wi-Fi. One controllers and the PoE switch and also access point. OK. So Office 123, uh, um, Office 123 is different. Because we are using the Qualcomm uh, Dakota chipset, so actually controller is inside the master. Because the chipset itself is very powerful, they can manage up to 16 APs within the network. So which means that you, need, you don't need to buy extra access controllers. Access control, uh, access controller. Access controller is over here. Okay. So simple. If your user is uh, more than 16 APs, then better to use the controller, standalone controllers, plus access point. And uh, if, if less than 16 access point, just only one AP, just only by one, they don't do the job. And also, you all can buy two in one pack or three in one pack. Even you can add more slave device later. OK, to set up the, the Office 123 is very simple. Just download the app. We got the app, IP Finders. Straight away, uh, you plug your master to your um, ISP router or your, your network. and. Uh, Use your um, smartphone to find an app to find out where the master device is. And the, once you show the master device, just click the hyperlink. Straight away goes to master interface. Master default is uh, password is admin1234. And then straight, straight in, log into the user interface. And then there will be the wizard to guide you how to set up those three network: Guest network, office network, and also device network. OK? And after you run through the wizard, Finish. Wait for five minutes. The master will deploy all the settings to the client device and then finish. You build out a smart home network, uh, the enterprise grade Wi Fi network. Okay, so this year, uh, we, no, end of last year, we also released auto version of the client. Okay, so you can see the, um, there are so many AP array solutions in the market like D-Link, tb or, or Ubiquiti. But they, they probably they forgot to include this one, the auto one. Okay, the, their auto is always standalone and point to point. Okay, but we know in Australia people like like a radio parts. We have shop phone, we have warehouse, we have car part. Right. So how are you going to cover the car part and also the the warehouse? You need to use the auto one. So we also put the auto within the solutions. So simply just buy a uh, auto as auto AP, and then plug this one into the network. Master will deploy the setting to this one. So you don't need to set out the auto AP. It work as the, any other AP, but on the auto environment. OK? So this year, um, we have a single solution, single pack solution, two in one pack, and the previous, previous is a three in one, plus auto one. Uh, IP65 on the roof. Right. Okay, uh, Office one two three. Uh, is we call a CAP thirteen hundred master. This one's uh, uh, this one is a PoE power. Okay, they can they they are even AC Web two and and U MIMO, and uh, come with uh, airtight fitness and band steering. I will tell I'll talk about this more, and then this one can work standalone. Okay, so don't need to worry about that. So this one even itself can work. Okay, they come with uh, two uh, two Ethernet port. One support PoE, the other one don't. And also you also can use the uh, twelve DC power over here. This one is a uh, Cap thirteen hundred slave. You won't be able to work alone. You work with the the master. Okay. 
the other space are similar, exactly the same. This is the auto version. Okay, they are exactly the same chipset, exactly the same CPU we us, uh, the indoor uh, indo one. Okay, but they have different different shape and the detachable antenna. You can change it to any other different antennas if you want. And uh, IP fifty six rating and also. This is very uh, very special features. Probably no one has that. PoE, e PoE, yeah. It can p p power by PoE and also daisy chain PoE. And then the the PoE we provide is a standard one, not a passive one. So within the market, no one has that. So this one is a, is a, is a great for you to build out the outdoor uh, IP camera or indoor IP camera. Yeah, you don't need to, f exactly, you don't need to find an extra power source for your IP camera. You can straight away use the PoE power from the AP. Okay? Instead of being PoE AF, so... AF, AF. Up to about 12 watts or so, maybe... Uh, I'll comply with the AF, yeah. This is the app. This is the app, you just download the app from the Google Home, Google... Uh, enjoy and uh, and also Apple, and then straight away you will get uh, you will find where is the IP the master master uh, IP address. Click this one, you will see the setup interface straight away, and then username and password. Okay, key selling point of Edimax. So this is the one to solve the issue of a smart home. So we call the MAC address access controller, control. And each employee can take our Wi-Fi account. And, uh, um, and you might more airtime fairness. I will talk, talk about this about more. OK, this is, the uh, this is the figures. 256 office users, 412 guest users. And 12, it, it can manage up to 16 APs. And also, it supports 128 devices, client devices. Okay, so this is talking about uh, each office user. They can have their own individual username and password. Okay, and UMIMO is the new technologies. Okay, so traditional one is uh, SUMIMO, which means that all the routers will service their client individually, one by one by one. But if we're talking about NU MIMO, it means that they will service four clients simultaneously. So it's much quicker, much faster. Don't need to wait. Along with the NU MIMO, we also got the airtime fairness. It's, an, it's also advanced features. Okay? How it works? For, for, if you don't have the airtime fairness, again, the Wi Fi will service the client one by one. If that's a user using the old generation uh, Wi-Fi, the speed is very slow, and the second user is very fast. But within the 10 seconds, they only can download this kind of the speed, 18 megabyte per sec megabyte per second uh, for within uh, 10 seconds. But if you are doing airtime fitness, because they can sim service clients simultaneously quicker. So even though this uh, old generation Wi-Fi, they still can. Within a 10 seconds, they can download 5 megabytes per second. They don't need to wait. And then another faster user, they can download 25 megabytes per second. So, which means that this group, they will be able to download 30 megabytes per second within 10 seconds. So, this is the airtime fitness. Okay, it also means it increases a lot of Wi Fi performance. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Band steering. Band steering, just like um, what's band steering? Just like a, um, the kind of low balancing between the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. So you didn't see uh, on the SSI, you didn't see the 5, 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz because we got the band steering. Why? Because band steering will allocate the users or clients based on the traffic conditions. So they will move you to 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, depends on whether your uh, frequency is, uh, it's, uh, come with a bit better traffic or not. Okay, so it's automatically, they will switch the user at different frequencies. Depends on the traffic. So, best is also 
help um, to increase the Wi-Fi performance. The last one, <coughs> okay. So we um, last last section, the people ask about Wi-Fi calling. What's the condition of the Wi-Fi calling? Have you heard about Wi-Fi calling? Okay. Currently, we are use, uh, using the Vodafone. They offer the Wi-Fi calling. Okay. So whenever we I go home, I just switch off. My, uh, I just turn my my mobile into the fly mode, and I turn on my Wi-Fi. Straight away, this logo shows Vodafone, Vodafone Wi-Fi calling, which means I still can receive the phone call through the Wi-Fi. Okay, and the, why I why I do it? Um, so uh, in fly mode, in fly mode, yeah, exactly. In fly mode, just I just turn off the turn on the fly mode. Okay, and using Wi-Fi, I still can receive a phone call for anyone calling me. Why are you doing this way? Why? <coughs> Firstly, uh, it's better, it's safe for your battery power because 4G consumes more power. Secondly, it's uh, safe for your brain. Why? Because 4G, the, they consume one watt, if you're talking like this. Okay? And the Wi-Fi only consumes 0 0.1, which is which is 100 mini watts per second. So it's much safer you put, uh, when you're doing a Wi-Fi calling like this compared if you are doing a 4G calling like this, actually you are burning your brain because it's one watt. Yeah, exactly. The, you, you know how they pass the safety? The, you know how they pass the safety of the, the, the test lab? They, they test like this, 20 centimeters. Once they pass the 20 centimeters, that means there's no uh, infrared, um, the the, the, that means you can use. This is how they test. So, but you are not using this way, right? You're using this way, right? Actually, you're burning your head, you, you, your brain. It's 5G, it's going to be higher again. 5G will be even higher. Yeah, because five five G means uh five G means the five gener fifth generation. Yeah. Okay? The fifth generation their antenna is even shorter. But there will be the antenna array, which means that they will be even faster because the, the shorter distance they can transmit all the data even yeah. in a shorter distance. So in able to reach then, your phone will need to have more power. More power. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think so, but I'm not sure. But I'm using Wi-Fi calling all the time. I think so, but, but the 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 after no tells you I don't know. Okay. Through other apps and things, obviously with WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger and so on, you can still make calls through them with FaceTime and so on. But the action of just being able to make a normal call, hit the, the number in your phone book, make a call from that, and it just works over Wi-Fi is what a lot of people. But you have to be in the uh, in the Vodafone area. No. No. You don't at all. As long as your Wi Fi network's got an internet connection, you can make that call. It just doesn't use the Wi Fi, uh, it uses your Wi Fi network via that internet rather than to the mobile phone tower via that. So, oh. so, yeah. so wherever you go, I mean, so if you have got Wi Fi, even in Outback, correct. Yeah. You're, um, 
Yeah. So dramatically save. Yeah, dramatically save your battery power because it's Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, so, but only within Australia. So if you go out, for example, if for example, I travel back to my, travel, travel back to Taiwan. There's no Wi-Fi calling <laughs> because they will they will detect your IP address is not within Australia. Actually, they won't enable the Wi-Fi calling. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So why this one is related to the to the Wi-Fi calling? So imagine if, for example, you are using mobile phone, you are doing a Wi-Fi calling, and then you detect like this. You're walking in your house, up and down, and all in the office. So the roaming is become Wi-Fi roaming become very important, very important. Why? Because you are travel from one access point to another one. Okay. Normally, the downtime, if there's a ro there's no roaming, is cost you five second above if there's no ro no roaming. For for some solutions like uh, TP-Link or D-Link or, or others, they call they are fast roaming. The downtime normally is between two seconds to five seconds. The downtime, okay. But if you're talking about if you're talking about enterprise grade roaming, like uh, the, if you're talking about the A02.11 R and K enterprise roaming, like Cisco, HPL, Edimax, or others, the downtime is, is uh, 0 0.2 seconds, which is a 200 milliseconds. Okay, it means. So when you talk like a, a Wi-Fi calling, when you talk like a sick phone, when you talk like WeChat or uh, like a WhatsApp or Line, you won't, your phone won't be dropped. But if your downtime is more than five seconds, or sometimes between two seconds to five seconds, your phone will be dropped. Okay. So this one also increased the Wi-Fi performance. Okay, if you enable this one, sorry, this one is already default enable. If you have these features, you already you can you can talk like this within your house. No issue. Okay, so for Office one two three, those fe those features like uh, enterprise roaming, like a band steering, airtime fairness, and you MIMO, default they are all enabled, which means uh, I just tell you how it work, but also on default there will be they already be enabled. So which means that once you set up Office 123 network, all those three already, all those four features already enabled. You don't need to go to interface to tell them which one is which one. You don't need to do that. Straight away, those advanced features, you already have it. Why was it only on the, uh, on the guest network instead of uh, covering the office? Uh, yes, I, I also found out this one later, but I need to put this one here. Why? Tell you why. <laughs> Give me a sec. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh. Okay. Guest name was just like a normal uh, SSID and password, right? So each of the access point they got the guest name were using and password. Easy. Okay. But for the office users. Because this one is a radius server, okay? Radius server need to copy, copy those data at two different access point. So once the user is roaming of the office network, they won't be able, they won't be easy to find out where where are they. But for this, it's easy. Because each of them they got a radius server. So once you want to check the user whether they can, they can switch to one AP to another one, the 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 authentication is much much complicated. Take more times. So they can do roaming, but not the seamless roaming. So I say only this one because all the guest networks uh, using the password are all the same. So they don't they don't need to do the authentication again. This one need to each 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 a as a point they got a radius server. They need to check whether this this user is uh, valid. Then they can access that as point. So this one will take longer to do authentication. Also this one, okay. Also this one because this one comes with two 
authentication. One is the username and password. The other one is uh, they need to ch check the, the each uh, MAC address. And then they will say, OK, you are my users. Then I let you to use it. So only the guest network will be able to comply with the, the, the enterprise grade network because a lot of us uh, handshake need to be done by zero to second. Okay, those two is for fixed users. For example, your, um, your, your, your desktop, your notebook. Normally you won't travel like this, right? So this is for the office users. And the device network normally is fixed on the wall. So no, don't, you, you don't you worry about that. If you want to use the Wi-Fi wi -Fi, um, calling or the WeChat or WhatsApp, you st we still need to use the guest network. Okay, because this one can help you to roaming much, much efficient. Others can do There's uh, two guest account. Now, for, 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 you can create multiple guest account. OK? You can, you can create two or three guest account. OK, you can create the guest account for real guests. But uh, for other power users, just create another one, internal use. OK? And also, we can do the bandwidth control as well. For example, for internal use, you can maximum the, the speed. But for the, for the uh, for gas, just give it a little bit. So you can limit the bandwidth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as I said, the coming demand, um, the more Wi-Fi need for the smart home is for smart home, from smart home. So big houses. They also can do the office one, two, three. OK, compare with other solutions, we are similar like uh, AC, Ubiquiti AC Pro. Although they are 1750, we are 1700, but we also got two LAN, two LAN support. OK. OK. Compare with other uh, home mesh Wi-Fi, are different because they are router. They are not access point. Okay, Deco and the Google Wi-Fi and the other. When people tell you about they are the home mesh, actually they are router. Each of them they are router, 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 router. Okay, see what happened um, on the Google Wi-Fi set. This is a Q and A of Google Wi-Fi. Okay, if you go to the website, they will. They will answer your, um, you have frequent ask questions. They will tell you these questions, okay? Because Google Wi-Fi is a router. So they may, they may face the issue of double MAT or to Wi-Fi network. What's a double MAT? Because the, you got a uh, ISP router at home, right? And because the Google Wi-Fi themselves, they are also routers. So both of them got MAT. So which means the, there were double MAT issues. Double MAT issues will create trouble when you, when, you use, um, when you do the web browsing or do the internet banking, because normally the traffic can go out and cannot go back because they're too MAT. Sometimes cause issues. And the Google Wi-Fi tells you how to solve this issue by fixing the double MAT. They tell you, remove as provided routers from your network. OK, so not everyone knows how to do that, right? For example, for example the, if you don't know the username and password of a PPPOE, P -P -P you don't know how to, uh, the, 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 how, um, the ISP, how to set out your, your, your routers, you can't do that. Because once you put a Google Wi-Fi under, but behind your Wi-Fi routers, you get the issues straight away. They are routers, not AP. AP, they don't have MAT. Router has. So there's a double MAT. So they tell you, remove one of the routers. Or just uh, change it to Wi-Fi network. But this one sometimes won't solve the issue. 
only this one solves the issue. Or if you are advanced users, if you are advanced users, you just enable the bridge mode of your ISP routers, that the device transparent, and then you become a router. Then you you got only single router at home. Then you won't be have any issues. So this is how difficult to use the those devices. Okay, unless unless you got someone knows how how, how to do those two things. Okay, so it's different. So they might be a good solution if you're talking about setup new environment. But they might, be, might not be a good solution. For example, you want to keep the ISP router at home. But for the Office 123, simply just, you don't need to change anything of your ISP routers, okay? You just use Office 123 to make your Wi-Fi performance better. They don't have, they, can't, they don't, they doesn't come with any MAT. They won't fight with your uh, the ISP routers, they get all the IP address from the routers. There's no issue, okay? But they do more job. They do more job for the Wi-Fi. So that's a better solution for the smart home. Okay, so we can do more bundles. Uh, for example, we can bundle a POE switch for big projects, 24 ports. See, we, we, uh, we have a 24-port PoE switch and a 16-port PoE switch. They are gigabit, come with all uh, four combo SSP port, which means you have a more uh, port to, to link to different buildings, okay? And then those PoE switch come with special features like a, a longer PoE distance, like a 200 PoE distance, compared with traditional one, just 100. Also, uh, they also come with, uh, the PoE switch also come with special features, like a, PoE power backfeed protections, just like search protections, like a lighting protections. So they protect all the outside power to damage your PoE pole. But we have, uh, we got extra features called PoE power backfeed, which means uh, so for some users, they don't know uh, they are using the PoE, passive PoE injectors. The passive PoE injector, there's no protocol, there's no handshake. They straight away they pass the PoE power to you. Because those solutions are using a gigabit. The gigabit means the all eight lines, they are occupied. So once you use a gigabit PoE switch, and then someone um, accidentally using the passive PoE and the plug into your PoE switch easily to damage your PoE port. Okay? But we have the function to protect that. So other PoE switch, other gear PoE switch in the market, like a DDN, TBN, or any others, they don't have these features. Uh, we, are, we are lucky, we are the first one. Okay, we also got a, a voice feed that means that, for example, you got C phone, intercom, also you got an intercom, they are, they are using the SIP protocol. Once we recognize that's a SIP protocol, we will pull them all within the one VLAN. So to set up this, Feature is easy. You don't need to go through all the difficult uh, the interface. Just enable, disable. Straight away, your voice become clear. Also, we got a, a security features called DHCP snooping, which means uh, within your network, if someone want to create your trouble, straight away they plug another routers into a network, and once every any, every new users come to the mark come to the network they will assign the illegal IP address to the users, and then they will easily be hacked because the IP address is coming from them, sometimes, okay? I also create a, a conflict with your main routers. Once, we re once our, our uh, switch recognizes that DHCP snooping happening like this, then we'll stop them. This is one of the security features. And uh, this is one uh, SN SNMP protocol for the uh, SMB use. Okay. Uh, if you want to do a small site, we also got a five port. Five port PoE switch, one uplink and a four PoE port. This is also gigabit. And, and the they also come with uh, 200 meters 
PoE power and also the PoE power back fee protections. Okay. See, this is a list of if you want to do a project of Office uh, 123, we got 24 port, 16 port, and the 24 port 100, 8 port, for, uh, H port is 8 port, and also 8 port and 4 port is POE, and the 5 port. All of them they come with those advanced features, uh, long range POE switch, and also we also got a special feature called the POE power device, a live check. For example, we, we will send a ping to the device to see whether they are dying or not, okay? Or wake or restart, okay? We also come with a voice VLAN, DSCP snooping to increase the security. We also have dual firmware. For example, if sudden, if you accidentally your firmware crash, maybe because, because of lightning or other factor, you still have another backup firmware to be active, keep your switch alive, okay? And also this one. Uh, PoE power battery protection. So you can see we put a lot, protect, a lot of protections for our PoE switch. So this one, uh, the solution we currently we offer is kind of a next generation PoE switch compared with the current market they are offering, other people offering. Okay, thank you. Okay, I got a um, small gift uh, to you. And also after the small gift, I'm going to answer your questions, okay? Uh, this one's a P, uh, IP camera uh, with garage control, which means you can see your cam camera from uh, you can see the garage from your from the smartphone. Also, you can turn on and off your garage door from remote area. But it's only for the professional users. Okay, you know you need to know how to do the dry contact connection. Okay, I I, I believe you are all professional users. Okay. It's easy for you? <laughs> easy for you, okay? I got a simple questions. Really, really simple, okay? So. Before you ask, someone probably already went to the end. Yeah, yeah, The, who answered the question? Raise the, the first hand, the first one raise the hand. Okay. It's too late for you. It's too late. So, um, how many, how many, how many devices? <laughs> thank you. Great answers. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no way. Any questions? Any questions? Maybe not. It depends on the the, the, the IP sec the IP segment. If your router, if your the second routers, if the IP address is uh, is similar like the one you, the the ISP, sometimes they will they will they will send the same IP address to different to the uh, they will send duplicate IP address to the to the client. So. Oh yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Yeah, exactly. 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 Correct. Sorry. Okay. People address it. People address. A B. I I don't I don't get that point. What's that? <laughs> Is it about Wi-Fi or a B part? I, I, I don't know. No, we don't. Uh, they, they won't. They won't.
They are? Layer 3? No, they are only smart, managed. Yeah. They are, they are. It's between, it's between the unmanaged and managed. Yeah. Like they, they manage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, they are not able to do the router's function. There's no function, there's no router function uh, of the switch. They won't be able to dispatch any DHCP package they want. They just uh, do the MAC address only. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It is really, really expensive, and also, and also the distance of X even shorter, even shorter. That's true, but you're looking at access points almost in each room. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah.